Aloha. I wanted to show you what I do when I'm meditating and many people have trouble quieting uh, your mind. So there's first I'm going to suggest a few things. When I first started meditation over 20 years ago I started with very calming uh, tapes to listen to. They were audio tapes at that time, which we don't use anymore. Um, and it, if you can, if you just decide whether you want a music one or someone has a beautiful voice that you can relax to, so those two recommendations can get you started. And I recommend doing it every morning when I do 12 to 14 hour meditation retreats. 12 to 14 hour every day. Yes, that's true. Um, you get into the swing of it and it's still really difficult to do that many hours. But even if you did 10 minutes, I meditated 10 minutes this morning and it gave my day a completely different start. So what I do is I wake up and have coffee, my organic coffee, and I don't eat before I meditate because I don't feel so... Um, it's nice to feel empty when you meditate. And I recommend don't get caught up in having to sit in the lotus position or you have to do it this way. You can sit in a comfortable chair on a nice leather couch if you want to and do it that way. I mean, whatever is going to get you to be still and let your mind come to rest is what you need to do. So. Um, especially when you're beginning. You don't want to be sitting in the lotus position and your knees hurt so much that you stop after 30 seconds and say, that was a good 30 seconds. So um, what you can try is the tapes and uh, let me know how that goes. Another thing is if you feel that you can sit. Sometimes I find listening to something distracting. So what I like to do, and I'll show you, is to get myself calm is I put my right thumb touching my left and my right palm on my left. And I do it in a variety of places, sitting down in the lotus position, um, well half lotus, and, or in bed or in a nice chair, whatever I feel like. And I like to light candles and do incense. That's a calming thing because when your eyes open you see the candle and candle meditation in, it, in and of itself is a beautiful relaxing thing to do. But continuing on, um, this is something you can do to get your mind and body to rest. You take a deep breath through your nose only and slowly breathe in and suspend your breath at the top of your inhale with no strain or struggle as long as you can until you must exhale and then hold your breath at the bottom, suspend it out, but without any difficulty. Don't take a breath until you must. This is oxygenating your body. And continue on for at least three breaths. Suspending at the bottom. And it just slows your body down and brings you to a restful place. And I highly recommend that. If before you're going into a talk that you think will be stressful or doing anything stressful is doing this. I learned that in Kundalini Yoga. And just a little bit about me. I've studied meditation and well, connecting to my own divine being um, in India, Nepal, and Thailand. And and with masters, meditation masters, and what I've learned is we think too much. So it just, meditation clears out the clutter and the cobwebs in your brain, and even if you do it for five minutes, it's going to give you a huge benefit. So that's what I do. It's very simple with recommendations. And um, one tip, if you are gonna sit in the lotus position, is have your butt a little bit higher then your knees, so your knees won't start hurting. You can also have your legs just come straight out. I did that this morning and that was just fine. So um, experiment.
and let me know how your meditation practice goes. Don't forget the candles and the incense. Aloha.